it's time to go to a bike race. Haven't said that one in a while. Pulled myself out of bed. Here we go. First bike race of the season. Made some overnight oats last night, which, well, I should say Sarah made me some overnight oats last night, but they were class this morning because jumped up. Bit of a fluster because it's a quite an early start, and so it was great to be able to just pull those out of the fridge and get going. I'm out of coffee. Disaster. Coffee will be had at some point before this bike race starts. I'm going to do something quite daring today. Sarah is taking the camera. So Sarah will be, I don't know if we could say vlogging, vlogging is probably loose, but Sarah will be shooting some footage from the side of the road for me for the race. This may be a recording team, so if you see her around, come up to her. Ah, that's not going to work, because if you see her around, you won't know that I said come up to her, because this vlog is not going to go out until tomorrow. If you see her around next week, vlogging, come up to her, tell her you want to be in the vlog. Car is packed, I'm off to the first race of the season, but also one of my favourite races of the season. It's called the Mick Lally, it's about 50 kilometres, it's a circuit race, it's handicapped, so a little bit of chasing is able to catch the twos in the trees, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be back racing. Also coming racing for today is Molly and Bruce. Hey Molly and Bruce, ready to go for bike race? race over, could have went better, could have went worse. My teammate won, that was good. My legs are absolutely in bits. Cross wins on the two straights, made it kind of hard to shelter. Race broke up, ultimately a group of three got away. I wasn't in that group of three. I had a teammate in there though, Charlie Prendergast, and Charlie brought home the bacon from Dara. Oh, it's like a little deer diary after a race. Dear diary, I'm absolutely fucked. Legs are tore out of me. Training and racing are just not the same beast. You get some relief from the suffering by watching other people suffer. Uh, yeah, I watched some other people suffer a lot today. One little drag on the course and the shapes and noises and sounds coming out of some lads was just unreal. Uh, the race ended up being a big family day out today with Sarah coming and Sarah kindly chauffeuring me and these two, Bruce and Molly to keep Sarah company but also they're a good bit of crack. The plan for tomorrow is <clears throat> an endurance ride with a coffee stop and some cake because it's my teammate Sean's birthday. So we're going off to celebrate a big happy birthday coffee spin. The dust has settled. I'm back home. I'm showered. But yeah, look, it was a nice outing for the first race of the season. The legs felt good. You can't always judge a race by the result. The performance or how you felt uh, goes a long way within a race. So yeah, roll on to the next one, I suppose. The season's just getting started. I used to 